was in Boots. Once upon a time, there lived a miller who had three sons. When the miller was dying, he left his mill to his eldest son, a donkey to his second son, and a cat named Puss to his youngest son. The youngest son was sad. What am I to do with a cat? It would be of no use. And I will have to feed it also. He wondered. Suddenly, Puss jumped and said, Don't worry, master. Give me a pair of boots, a bag of carrots and a hat. I will make you rich. Puss was a smart cat. The miller's son gave her everything. She took the things and went into the forest. The cat was called Puss in Boots, as she always wore boots. She caught a rabbit and carried it to the king's palace. Puss gave the rabbit to the king, saying, My lord, Marcus of Carabas has sent you a gift. The king was pleased. The cat gifted rabbits for many days. One day, Puss heard that the king and the princess would go to the riverside. So, Puss told her master, If you want to become rich, do as I say. He agreed and they went to the river. Puss asked him to throw away his clothes and jump into the river. The young man did as told. When the king's carriage arrived, Puss shouted, Help! Marcus of Caribus is robbed and left with no clothes on. The king ordered his guards to help him. Puss then said, As a token of gratitude, my master would like to invite you to his castle. The king accepted the invitation and they headed straight to the castle. Puss ran ahead. On the way, she met the farmers. She told them, if the king asks you about the land, tell him that it belongs to Marcus of Carabas. So when the king asked them about the land, they said the same thing to the king. The king was impressed by the wealth of the Marcus. Even the princess had fallen in love with him. Now, Puss went to meet the ogre of the castle. The ogre was eating his meal. Puss flattered him and said that she had heard a lot about his magical powers. She said, I have heard that you can turn into a lion. Can you show me? The giant then turned into a huge and powerful lion. Amazing, Puss said. Now, can you turn into a small animal? Puss asked. The ogre replied, Yes, I can. And he turned into a small mouse in a second. Puss pounced upon him and gobbled him up. Puss ran to the gates of the castle and welcomed 
Marquis of Carabas and the king. The king was happy. The princess said, "Wow, what a magnificent palace." The king and the princess enjoyed a great feast. The king decided to get his daughter married to Marquis of Carabas. The young couple agreed and a grand wedding took place. Finally, the miller's son became Marquis of Carabas. He lived happily in the palace along with the princess and puss. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.